do I get troubles when I travel to go through airport security? Oh, you bet. <laughs> Guys, let's talk about it. Can you believe my bag is 39.5 pounds, which is almost 18 kilo? It's insane. That's my carry-on. Went through, very happy I did. But damn, every time I travel, I'm telling you, maybe you have the same feeling. If you do, let me know. I feel like they're gonna cause problem with all the gear I have. The airline mainly might not let me go through because it just gets so heavy. So today I thought I would like kind of take a Q&A with you guys because, well, I've been traveling so, so much over the past few years that I kind of got a little bit better at traveling with camera gear and a lot of you have been asking questions so I want to pick up your questions and I want to answer them for you. So if you're a little bit afraid that you're gonna get stopped by security or the airline, this video is for you. Let's go! All right, let's talk about gear and airport, guys. That's gonna be fun. I've asked you on Instagram if you had questions about it because a lot of you have been asking, uh, how do I travel with all the gear? And I think that's a really good question. That's something I was thinking about a lot and it's something I'm always afraid every time I start again a new trip. So yeah, while I'm on my way from Chicago to LA, why don't I answer some of your questions on Instagram? And the first one was, do I take all my camera gear and carry on luggage and uh, long story short as you can see I would say 90% uh, yes I have everything here I've got uh, the camera I've got small tripod audio lenses drone everything except all the chargers all the chargers are going to be in the check-in bag and I think it's a great question because you might always be wondering how do you split between check-in bag and carry-on well anything that you cannot afford to lose should come with you in a carry-on. That's how I think about it. Anything that can be stolen, carry-on. If there is something you don't value too much or if it's just chargers, I put them in the check-in bag. Now, if I'm very honest, I would rather have the chargers also in my carry-on simply because imagine they lose my bag, then I arrive in destination and I don't have chargers, which can really, really suck. So you might want to be a bit careful about that one. Let's pick up the next question and let's get a little bit closer to the gate because I'm gonna miss it otherwise. All right, I'm boarding, but the next question is actually, do I have any problems with batteries? Well, battery, as you may know, guys, is a big, big topic for airplanes, simply because they don't want you to put your batteries in your checked-in bags, meaning the ones that go under the plane. So if you have spare batteries, you're supposed to have them charged and keep them in your carry-on bag. It's very important because it can cause fires and all kind of trouble. So be mindful, keep your spare batteries here. I've got spare batteries for all my cameras right here in this backpack. Might make it a lot heavier, yes, but it's something you have to plan and uh, work with. Now, another great question. Do I actually have problems? Do I need to take out all the camera gear when I arrive and when I go through the x-rays and inspection? Long story short, no, but yes. <laughs> okay, let me explain. You need to take out your laptop, as you know. You need to take out big electronics. But what I do is that I always have my camera outside of the bag with my Joby tripod and just having that already shows the, whoever is inspecting that this is a camera bag and on top of that depends on the airport if i'm very honest some airports never ask me to open it some do ask me usually when they do it's because i have a battery plug that is 20,000 milliamps in the bag and that raises their concern so they ask me to take that out and maybe take out a few other big elements but I think you're pretty safe, to be honest, in terms of X-ray, in terms of uh, security. They're not gonna cause too much trouble. You, there is nothing that is forbidden. Obviously, don't take a knife, don't take that kind of stuff with you and your carry-on bag. If I have my knife, I just put it in the check-in bag. It's, it's very important to remember that. It has happened to me that I would arrive at the, at the security and they're like, what's that? I'm like, oops, <laughs> I just forgot. Hi, sir, how are you? Hello, good, and you? Good. Thank you. Cool, thanks.
Airlines is something you love and hate. It's a love and hate relationship. You see that bag? It fits in cabin. In terms of size, it's perfect. Now, when I fill it with my camera gear, it's always overweight. I, just for fun, I kind of weighed it this morning and it was 39.5 as I mentioned. That is absolutely crazy heavy. A lot of companies will cause you trouble. So Hugo is asking, what airline do I use and how do I go around that? I think that's a great question and my answer is pretty simple. When I know I'm gonna be overweight, first of all, I need to make sure I understand what kind of airline I'm going to be using. If I'm using a very low cost airline and I know they have a strong restriction and they will check me, then I check if there is another flight available where I can add maybe $20, $30 and for the difference I have peace of mind. Now, if I have to go with those, like I did many, many times, for example, in Asia, what I do is I carry everything in my pockets, in my jacket. The extra batteries, the hard drives, everything that is heavy goes into those pockets. And you will see it will make your bag a ton lighter. The camera also out of the bag. And then I can bring the bag down like 5 kilo less, maybe 10-15 pounds less. Then you might be able to sneak that in. Another tip is when you are arriving at the counter. Imagine you're arriving at the counter. Let's play a game. If you're alone, okay, you put that bag on one shoulder and you make it look at this if it was really light. If you are more than one person checking in or if you have family coming to see you and say bye, give them your bag and then when you check in, no problem. And after you pick up your bag again, or most likely they don't even ask you. So avoids people from, from weighing the bag. And at the end of the day, remember, if your bag is not oversized, then that's, that's pretty much fine. Just make sure you enter the dimension. If you're doing that without entering the dimension, you're being an ass because your bag is not gonna fit up there. So just remember that, please. All right, now Flexigo is asking, did I ever have problems? Yes, I did have problems when I arrived in Nicaragua. I had a drone and airport security is checking every single bag for drones. I completely forgot, I actually didn't check. They don't accept drones. They took my drone, uh, that's, that's totally on me. Check before you enter a country if there are drone restrictions. You don't want to get stuck at the border because they are going to put it in quarantine and then you're going to pay a daily fee for them to keep it so that is not good if you're traveling on a budget it's not a great idea let me tell you that and now last question because I have to start driving and apparently traffic is crazy over here how do you manage film so x-ray insecurity check doesn't ruin it from Zach Solis Zach Solis great question here's how we used to do it back in the day just tell them those are film please don't pass them in the machine they will manually inspect them or use another machine and then it's not gonna damage your film please take them out take the camera out you have to let them know if you have sd cards no problem if you have hard drives never had a single problem so uh, that's something you want you might want to be careful about if you have film especially if you forget that it's in your bag remember it might be problematic all right guys i hope this has been helpful i really wanted to touch on that topic especially because i'm traveling all the time i've got gear everywhere and very 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 often i go through security at the airport some of you even mentioned that they are afraid to travel with their gear because it's not insured if that's the case let me stop you right now please get one of those airplane tickets and then get an insurance for your trip i personally because i'm in the u.s right now some of you might know i kind of base myself here in the u.s i went through ward nomads i drop a link in the description uh, they covered uh, travel insurance, health insurance, and the last one is they do reimburse part of the gear if something gets broken. Depending on the price you pay, the maximum per item might be $1,500 or $1,000. So if you have very, very expensive gear, keep that in mind. And also home insurance. If you have a home insurance, uh, ask them if they cover when you're traveling abroad with gear that you hold in your house. That might be possible. A friend of mine uses another company also that provides gear insurance for pros and that covers when you're traveling. Woo! We covered a lot. I hope this has been helpful. If this has, leave it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. How do you travel hack? Do you have hacks to traveling with your gear, etc.? You can see that's my chicken bag. That's my carry-on. 
uh, you know all my secrets it's not more complicated than that with that being said if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe ring that notification bell and it's gonna make a huge dong it's gonna be awesome because you will be notified for the adventures in Polynesia get out there go shoot try something different try something new I will see you in the next episode bye